So guys, you can see that we made this circuit using the multi-sim live. Now, uh, to run the simulation, I click on this button called run simulation. Okay, simulation has started. You can see the LED is on. So this is our basic circuit. On the right, you can see various tools and this is how it is working. So we are using multi-sim live. We made the circuit using the multi-sim live. Welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I will give you an introduction to multi-sim live a free online circuit simulation tool. This tool has been in the market long since and it works online. Just go to your Google, write down multi-sim. This disappears, multi-sim live online circuit simulator. You click on it like this. Now you sign up for free. It's a free tool. Sign up for free. Okay, accept all cookies. Now you just have to sign up or you may sign up using Google. I will sign up using Google. So this is the account I'm going to use. Click on continue. So this is very simple. Keep you up to date. Agree to the terms and license like this. So now you can see it is giving you three plans here and it is very cheap. I will say for the free version, that's it. That is the basic. You can have five components per circuit, four circuit, four simulation type, basic component library. I will tell you what these all mean. Like what is this uh, once we use. Now even for the premium one, see it is just $2.5 per month as compared to Proteus that uh, you guys were talking about like it's expensive. Uh, this is very cheap. It is like $2.5 per month and if you go here it is $25. So let's use the basic one. If you like it, I will also buy this one as well to show you what it have here before you go for it. So it's basic, it's free. So we can do our basic circuit simulation and learn about electronics using this tool. So this will be way better. So now once you are done, click on this create license. So you have already signed up. It's very simple to use. Now you have just signed up. Now you can just make circuit. So here we go. This is our screen here. So before I continue, let me introduce you to it. So here you can see it shows the tire. So if you think that you need to upgrade, just click on the basic tire and just buy any of this if you prefer. So now before that on the left side, you have your toolbar. Okay, let me magnify so you guys can see better. So on the left side, you can see there are the bars. These are the toolbars. Now all have their purpose. If you want to use the search button, you can use just write the name like NPN transistor. I write NPN and here he shows the transistors. If I write the model BC547 something there are options so it may have other transistors or some less options because it's a basic version so but we have the concept simulation icon symbols capacitors here the power sources then you have resistor capacitor passive components fuse transformers and coupled inductor sector then you have analog components opms c they all are there and then you have the diode type etc like this then you also have the transistors then you have indicators, LEDs, here you have switches, then you have model blocking, blocks, or sorry, model blocks, current controller source and other sector. Then you have here electromechanical parts, then you have here power units, then you have the digital part sector. Now, to, just to give you an intro, how this, now another good thing is the grapher. You may use up uh, probes and like oscilloscope sector, you may get the, analyze the circuit. You can split the screen as well, here your circuit and here the grapher. Now let's make a small circuit. Now these were the simulation types, like what type of simulation you want to run. You want to see either the DC operation, AC sweep, transient response, or if you go the premium and other uh, packages, you may have these two as well. So for us, basic is enough right now. So let's start playing with it. Let's make a small LED triggering circuit here. So here you have a, a DC voltage source in the sources, the DC voltage, this one, this one will do fine. Just place it like this. This is our DC voltage source. Here it asks you to flip or mirror. There it asks you to delete. There if you want to have another one, there you may rotate. Now go to the indicator step, this one. Here you have this LED, place it wherever you prefer, like this. Then you use a resistor, go to the resistor. There you go, value is too high. We want to load down the value. Now go on the right side, on the right side of the screen, double click on the resistor and on the right side it will show you this uh, value so you may change the value it is ohm 
or k whatever you prefer so i write 220 ohm okay now it's 220 ohm okay it's fine now to do the connection you have to click here it will show this icon now just move the wire wherever you want just connect it here like this from the resistors other end we also connect it to the led as well like this now we are connected with the led remember that the led is now connected now let's connect the leds other end to the batteries negative like this now for the simulation software for every software not only this even for the proteus as well you need to do one thing that is you need to ground the ground to make sure that circuit is common grounded so go to the left side here you have this terminal and select this ground here like this so the ground is selected now just connect the wire again the same like this now it's connected like this now the circuit is complete for the power you may use this as well the power connector no issue but we are going to use the battery to make it look more liquid now i run the simulation now to run the simulation there you have this icon called run simulation control r run it now see the led is on see it's working so right now we have one two only three components in the circuit so with the basic you can go up to five components so guys this is how this multi-sim works so it's a very good software and it is very cheap as compared to proteus for learners it's a great tool and the good thing is it also includes something called uh, embedded packages as well so if i go to the features see over here this is this is of concern embedded circuits are included in the uh, both the other variants so they are not expensive one dollar a month is nothing so guys uh, i hope you will also learn something from this video and this tool a great tool for everyone will greatly assist you in learning the theory in verifying your theory theoretical concept of the electronics basically in the end it is the hardware that we all want so these tools only help us to get better understanding so on the right side you can see your uh, circuit simulations response and whatever the logic level output you want now to set the grapher you need to uh, here select the props and whatever you want so that's something advanced so for the basic introduction this was it so if you guys have any questions you can may ask so we'll see you in the next videos in the same series so guys have a nice day